Hi, I'm Bob Stern, and we'd like to tell you how complex life and plate tectonics evolved together. How life started on Earth may be the biggest mystery, but right behind this is the question of why it took three billion years more before complex metazoans evolved. It appears that this mega lag time happened because the modern plate tectonic regime took that long to evolve. Our presentation explains how we reached this startling conclusion. We explain our emerging understanding of how and when plate tectonics started in Neoproterozoic time and explore how this spurred the explosive evolution of complex life. We combine our understanding of how the sinking of dense oceanic lithosphere in subduction zones with examples from three other actively convecting solar system silicate bodies to conclude that some kind of single lid tectonics dominates, that plate tectonics is unusual in space and time, and that conditions of lithospheric density and strength favoring plate tectonics only happened late in Earth history. These insights motivate reinterpretation of the last 1.6 billion years of Earth history, the Mesoproterozoic, Neoproterozoic, and Phanerozoic eons. We demonstrate how geological indicators of plate tectonics are missing in rocks older than about 800 million years, then show how Mesoproterozoic rocks differ in a way that is best explained if they formed in a single lid tectonic regime. The Mesoproterozoic single lid episode slowly transitioned into a global plate tectonic mosaic during the Neoproterozoic, the same time period when large complex life emerged in the oceans. It is axiomatic that such a profound tectonic transformation disrupted Earth's climate, providing the fundamental cause of the prolonged late Neoproterozoic climate crisis known as Snowball Earth. Finally, we explore how the Neoproterozoic tectonic revolution stimulated biological evolution. Three main effects are identified. First, enhanced uplift, erosion, and weathering accompanying continental collision and widespread ash from explosive arc volcanism increase the supply of nutrients such as phosphorus and iron to the oceans. The increased nutrient supply stimulated all life, including phytoplankton. Greater phytoplankton activity increased the concentration of free oxygen in the hydrosphere, making the evolution of large marine creatures possible. Second, plate tectonics ameliorated climate by drawing down atmospheric carbon dioxide as a result of increased weathering and photosynthetic activity and provided new places to store carbon in passive continental margins and subduction zones. A moderate climate is essential for metazoan vitality. Bacteria can survive at temperatures greater than 100 degrees centigrade, but complex life thrives in a smaller temperature range 10 to 30 degrees centigrade. Third, the formation of isolated habitats is critical for speciation and evolution. Single lid tectonics does not create marine habitats easily, especially new continental shelf habitats where Neoproterozoic and early Paleozoic evolution was concentrated. In contrast, plate tectonics creates new continental shelves and diverse marine habitats frequently. We conclude that the enhanced nutrient supply, climate, and habit formation accompanying the Neoproterozoic tectonic revolution caused the biological revolution. We hope you are as excited as we are about the increasingly compelling case that complex life and plate tectonics evolved together in Neoproterozoic time. Understanding the coevolution of life and tectonics on Earth is the focus of biogeodynamics, an emerging field at the interface between geodynamics, geomorphology, climate, ocean and atmospheric sciences, geobiology, ecology, and biology, with special focus on how changes in these systems are interrelated. Please visit the Biogeodynamics website at ETH and check out the several student numerical modeling projects. Just Google ETH Biogeodynamics. Also check out Tim Gray and others' Thursday poster, PP45A1086, Global Scale Numerical Modeling of the Emergence of Plate Tectonics and Complex Life on Earth.